Welcome to Luxembourg, guys, where it's no sun ever, only 60 days per year. Welcome again to the new vlog. It's my first time in Luxembourg and I was very excited to do this short trip. So I will show you what I did and saw in the next few days. First thing you need to know is that Luxembourg is a very small city and the capital of a very small country with the same name. So you don't need a lot of time to plan the visit. I came in the middle of November and days were pretty gray and rainy, but they didn't stop me from walking around and exploring. First day we started a walk in the city park. It was so nice to see all these autumnal colors and then took the elevator to the lower part of the city. There's actually a valley with the river surrounding the old town and during the Middle Ages, this site was filled with craftsmen and artisans. It's raining for 51 days. <laughs> no, ah, 61, it's no, no rain. Now we're caught in rain and this is how it is the whole day, every day in autumn and winter and other 300 days. <laughs> Back to the upper part of the city, we passed by Dodge's Palace and I had to take some hot chocolate in front of it to warm up because I was freezing. There was a lot of choices, so it wasn't so easy to make a decision, but it was super nice in the end, even though I burned my tongue a bit, as you can see, but it was exactly what I needed at this point. We ended the day with some classical music concert and it was a very nice and calm evening. Second day was raining again and again. We came to the other part of the city near the train station. And I just want to mention that transportation in Luxembourg within the whole country is completely free. There are no tickets or anything. You just hop on and off the bus, tram or even train if you're not exiting the country. Second day was my favorite day because we visited the cat cafe. And you know how much I love cats. So whenever I get the opportunity to go to the cat cafe, I absolutely take it and stay as long as I can. Also, I can describe to you how soft they were and super, super friendly and cute. And I ended up holding this one and petting her for so long. I almost took her home. What can I say? After this lovely morning, we took a walk around the center again and explored some new streets. Another interesting thing is that everyone who lives here speaks at least French, German and Luxembourgish. Some know even Portuguese, but the first three languages I mentioned are taught in school. So my everyday question was, how do they choose which one to speak? Even in transportation, sometimes it's written in French, sometimes German. In cafes and supermarkets, usually they spoke French to us. But I still don't understand how does it work, let's say, between friends. In any case, it must be so fun to know all these languages as a mother tongue.
We finished the day with some yummy cinnamon rolls and I like this place because it was a very nice design inside. And this time we went to see the concert in the amazing Philharmony. The concert itself was fine, but I preferred so much more the place where we went. So I'm happy that I got to visit this building as well. Since I've seen everything in Luxembourg, or at least they told me that, today I'm taking you to the small French city Metz. We took a train from Luxembourg and in just 10 minutes reached the border with France, which tells you just how small this country is, but you won't even feel the change in countries. I only knew because I got the message for changing the country. 30 minutes later and we are in Metz. It's a very small city, but super cute to have a walk in. We started walking in the garden while it was still not rainy and following the river came to the city center. Again, no plan needed, just walking around and exploring local bakeries and cathedrals. The only thing I was sad about is that Christmas markets were starting the week after, so I didn't get to catch them this time, even in Luxembourg, but at least I saw the beginning of some little decorations on the buildings. The day after I had a flight to go back home, so this is it for this mini travel diary from a rainy central Europe. But despite the rain, I still had a nice time, especially in Luxembourg, so I can only imagine how nice it might be to visit it on a sunny day. And because of its location, you can also visit Belgium or Germany from Luxembourg and it doesn't take so long. But since it was raining, I left those trips for some other time. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, I will see you soon and bye!